Why is SpaceX not catching Super Heavy on the ninth flight of Starship? Well, the reason is not what you think, but first let me give you some important context. SpaceX is currently targeting May 27th for the ninth test flight of Starship. This flight will be mainly repeat on what wasn't accomplished on Starship's flight 7 and 8. The main reason being the ship always losing attitude control prior to reaching engine cutoff, but hopes are up that that will not happen on this flight. The ship, Ship 35, will aim to do the same things as were intended on Flight 7 and 8. So with that out of the way, let's focus our attention on the Super Heavy Booster. Super Heavy Booster 14, which was previously flown on Starship Flight 7, will be reflown for the first time, marking a critical moment in the Starship program. In addition to the booster, 29 out of its 33 Raptor engines are reflown from its first flight. Also, one interesting thing to note is that SpaceX has decided to cover some of the vents on one of the sides of the hot staging ring, so that the exhaust gases from the ship can hit the wall and therefore push the booster during separation in a controlled direction. Previous booster separations were in a random direction, so apparently SpaceX wants to have more control over that. Now the reason why they are not catching the booster is not because it's the first free flight of a super heavy booster. The reason is because SpaceX wants to get data for improving performance on the booster's flight profile. And since the attempted experiments can potentially pose risks to the launch site infrastructure, SpaceX prefers to put the booster on an offshore trajectory. The experiments include flying the booster at a higher angle of attack during its descent and using two instead of three Raptor engines in the center ring for the final landing burn. Why do this? Well, not only it's good to push your hardware to the limits, but also improves propellant usage, aka more performance and efficiency and therefore increases the amount of payload mass that the rocket can carry. With that said, what are your predictions for this flight? Do you think that the ship will survive until Seiko, or will it end up like the previous flights? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And while you're there, make sure to like and subscribe for future Starship and Blender content coming in the future.